Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be talking about revitalizing older, existing thermomechanical pulp mills and bringing in the latest cutting edge technology. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. Out with the old and in with the new, as the saying goes. Andritz has taken the saying one step further, and now it could be said, out with the old and in with the latest cutting-edge technology for TMP. The company has recently launched its top TMP service and initiative for completely transforming existing mills. So today we are delighted to welcome two TMP experts from Andritz, George Haddle, Director, Business Development, Paper and Engineered Service, and Marcus Pickler, Vice President, Sales and Applications Fiber. So welcome, gentlemen. Great to have you with us. Thank you very much, Mark. It's a pleasure to be with you today again. Thank you, Mark. It's great to be here. Okay, so let's get straight into the questions. Um, can you tell us what is the top TMP approach from Andritz? George, can you uh, help us with that? Yeah, basically what, what we're doing in the top team pre approach is we are bringing basically all our experts, what we have on, in our global organization together and focus on TMP and mechanical pulping. And this on a holistic base means from chips to fiber. Okay, excellent. And um, over to Marcus. Um, can you tell us what exactly you mean when you're talking about TMP? Yeah, TMP is well known in the industry as thermomechanical pulp. In uh, our top TMP approach, the TMP stands not only for the high consistency refining itself, it stands for the complete line. So we are starting really from the wood yard and going the whole uh, pulping line along up to the to the final pulp. So we are including also uh, the chip washing system, high consistency refining, screening, washing, as well as bleaching if the lines has installed something like that. Okay, so you're basically going through the whole fiber line with this approach. Yes, exactly. That is the target. So basically, the the situation what we have seen on the market is that due to due to cost pressure on, on our customer side, I mean, TMP and mechanical pulping is in many cases related to printing writing writing papers, what are not known to be very profitable these times. So what we are what we are trying here is to to get our experts together, as, as I said, on from the woodyard down really down to the bleaching and the final fiber, and get get this state of the art technology know how what we have transferred to our customers. So we have a lot of multiple divisions that are focusing on mechanical pulping in different areas, but top team B is bringing this together and really to form a holistic approach to our customers to first of, the, of all educate them and secondly, of course, to provide them with, with ideas and, and opportunities to improve their existing asset. Excellent. Great. So, George, you're from service at Andritz and Marcus, you're from sales capital equipment. Can you explain how the combination works and ultimately what benefits this brings to the customers? Yeah, we from a capital side, we have the the global approach with uh, improving and 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 investing our R and D money into new equipment and new processes. So we are we are on the market for developing all these this new these new things, and this is what we want to try to bring together with our service colleagues into the existing mills uh, to to improve the performance of the older systems and bring it to a higher level from from the capital state of the art point of view okay thank you yes and to add to this uh what we have on the service side is i mean we are in daily contact with all of our clients you know be it be it for refiner segments be it for screen baskets be it for refiner services for whatever screw press services for overhauls also for synergy contracts uh, so we are on a daily basis in contact with our clients and what we are now leveraging is, as Marco said, the knowledge from, from new processes, from new machines, from recent installations, what we did and bring this as a joint uh, effort together to the existing assets that are, as said, sometimes even 50 years old. 
Great. Amazing. So can you tell us how this top TMP approach is working within Andritz? Is this a case of new technologies, capital service working together as such? This is very much uh, very much true. Uh, so basically what, what we did to, to start with top TMP is always, I mean, we form internal teams. So we have now formed a global and regional steering groups where all the experts are put into one group. And then with these experts, we start to first do our own homework, means we are going in, in with our data, what we have from our customers, into a discussion internally, what we think could be applicable to our customers' uh, assets, uh, develop a kind of a basic strategy, what we think could, could work, and then we contact our customers. So every customer that gets a call from some of our guys referring to top TMP should be prepared that we are not in the first thing directly wanting to, to, to ask for, for some time. We first want to present a little bit what we think could be, could be possible to do. And then at the second stage, then basically we go into a more deeper discussion, means audits that really bring up the, the total opportunity where we also then can give a better overview of what, what we can then finally expect from these projects, right? Excellent. And uh, uh, thanks, George. And Marcus, um, from a new product point of view, how does it work? Yeah, if our service colleagues are seeing some improvement potential on process technology or equipment, uh, we are working here very close together to bring in, as mentioned before, new equipment and technology uh, where it is needed to improve the system there. Okay, brilliant. So from a customer point of view, how does top TMP work? From the very beginning, how, how does it, how does a customer go go about getting involved in it, George? I mean, we have, for example, a recent showcase what we what we did with one customer in Europe, where basically we had over the, over time a lot of contact with with, with those uh, those guys, and we came into the the point that we said, okay, let's focus on them. We we did a, an internal study of what we could do, and then we found out there. Yeah, there is an opportunity for, for, for energy efficiency improvement, means directly talking about steam recovery. And uh, with our data, what, what we had on hand, we basically did a pre-calculation, what we think we could estimate, and, and then we presented it to the customer. And as, as it was a pretty feasible project for them, they said, yeah, okay, let's let's go, let's have a deeper look. We would like to really get the get the quotation from you with, you know, terms and conditions what, what would reflect also return of investment. So we sent then one of our experts on site uh, for two days to really have a look in deep on the production schedules, on the, the production to get the base for the calculation. And the outcome was that the project, what we said, will have most probably in a return of investment of two years ended up with a calculated return of, of roughly 1.7 years. And after we did the project, now I mean the return of investment was was closer to 0 0.9 years. Uh, what basically shows that even with with our conservative calculations, our equipment could could outperform even our own expectations there. Wow, those are good numbers, that's for sure. Um, Marcus, do you have anything to add on those on this point? Yeah, for for us as Android, it's very important to keep the existing assets uh, still still running there, so that the, the customer can improve the performance there. And this is, as George mentioned, it's very important for us for capital and the service side and overall Android, because uh, complete investment are quite expensive and maybe are killing or not running in the right direction of the returns of investment and profitability. So there's been some great benefits you've told us about there and uh, some some really uh, good examples of top TMP in action. So what is your future vision for top TMP approach? Uh, George, we'll stay with you on this one. I mean, for me, as, as Marcus as well said, is the most important is that that we do the, the, the most what we can to keep our customers alive, you know, to, to, to feed them with new ideas, with best practices to, to get to get really uh, a support to them that that is needed for 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 them to survive, in order also for let's say the better 
or the bigger picture about paper production because thermomechanical pulp is still something what what has a, a niche benefit and this is the extreme high yield. So the customers that can keep using mechanical pulp for the paper products, they will they will still have a huge benefit in the future because when we talk about uh, carbon uh, dioxide and the sequestration of carbon dioxide, I mean, mechanical pulp is, is quite nice as a product because there is not, not much what we lose on the fiber what we put in. And as well, if we do it uh, energy efficient, then we, we basically do not use a lot of CO2 either to get the final product, what will be needed to bring society forward. Brilliant, George. I love the way you brought in the, the environmental side of things into that. And uh, Marcus, any uh, final comments from you? Yes, the environmental side is when we are improving our processes and uh, improving our machines is a very high focus on that one. And uh, if customers are installing or replacing old machines uh, with new, newly, newly developed machines, the focus from Android side is always to reduce or to focus on the ESG targets there. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, nothing more to add from anybody? Yes, I would like to invite everybody to reach out to us. Uh, we, are, we are going step by step through for our customers. We have a, a big amount of customers still still out there and it's not easy to always select the, the ones that might have the first the first need in our opinion. So everybody that, that hears this podcast, just feel free to reach out to us. We will we will turn around immediately and go into your direction if you see that an approach to improve holistically your line would would be something where you are interested in. Excellent, thank you very much. So, the thermal mechanical pulping process has not really changed a lot over the years. However, the technology surrounding the process has changed beyond imagination, and the out with the old and in with the new philosophy can bring great gains for TMP operators. Thanks, George and Marcus, for an excellent discussion. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Mark, for hosting this nice podcast. Excellent. Should any of our value listeners wish to find out more, please feel free to visit our website. You can find the link in the show notes of this episode. We hope you enjoyed this discussion and thank you to all of our listeners and goodbye. Goodbye.